hello and welcome back to another history special. I'm in Norfolk, just outside the town of Thetford. I'm here to visit another English heritage property called Warren Lodge. This is another of their free uh, properties that you can visit any time of the year during daylight hours. And what it is is an old Warrener's, uh, Warrener's lodgings. It's built around 1400 by the Priors of Thetford and uh, it was up in use until about 1935. And uh, the Warren used to live here, used to catch rabbits, sell the meat for food and the fur to make hats and things. So let's go inside and uh, take a little look. Gosh, I can't get too far in because I've uh, got the bars on the, uh, on the windows through the door here. But just, uh, just in front of me is the stairs which goes up to the upper level. And you've got a fireplace down here. Go out to a fireplace in the upper levels. Along with plenty of windows as well. So the rabbits would have been hung down here in this lower level. And the warrener, the chap who uh, collects all the rabbits, would have lived upstairs. It's actually fortified as well. So it could protect the warriors against any uh, armed poachers. And poaching was rife in... Uh, in the English countryside. It has been throughout history of all sorts of, uh, of uh, animals, from the king's deer to swans, all the way through to rabbits and crops. And uh, there were frequent uh, attacks on, uh, by poachers on Warren Lodges because of all the food that, there's, that was inside. And, it, and the product could easily be, be taken and sold. There was a ready market for, the, uh, for rabbits, especially for their meat. The Warrener's trade died out around uh, the 1930s. Uh, the last Warrener here was about 1934, when this, uh, this lodge was in use. Myxomatosis was also uh, prevalent in, uh, in rabbits, and that tended to affect the, uh, the quality of the meats as well. And the fur was used to process, was processed into felt to make hats, but they used mercury to, in, in the processing of the fur. And that used to send people mad. So that's where we get the saying from, as mad as a hatter, because mercury was used to process the felt, the fur into the felt, and the felt was then used to make hats. So that's where the saying comes from, as mad as a hatter. There used to be a factory in Brandon that processed, the, um, processed all the furs. Brandon's about sort of five miles away from here. And, uh, but yeah, it's all, it's all gone now, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an industry from the past. You can still buy rabbits uh, in the shops and there's a lot of evidence where I'm walking of droppings from rabbits. So there are still rabbits in the area, although nobody actually, um, actually harvests them for, uh, for food anymore. And their fur is, uh, I don't think there's a, there's a market for, um, for rabbit fur in the hat trade. I think they use more synthetic materials these days. But if you happen to know that, then uh, just drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know because i uh, always, always interested in learning a little bit more about uh, ancient trades. But it's an interesting building on the outside. It's flint structure, there's plenty of windows, and a large door at the, uh, on one side. But it's also said to be haunted. There are two ghost stories that are centered around the um, centered around the, uh, the building here. First is a rabbit that's said to haunt the place. <laughs> I, I don't believe this story for a moment. Uh, it's said to have red eyes and it sits in the doorway and it has red eyes and hops around. Now, yeah, I don't believe that one either. But there's also the, the face of a, of a warrener who's seen from one of the upstairs windows. And he's said to have no eyes and no mouth, no face really. Um, he's got sockets where his, his eyes and mouth used to be. 
He's dressed in blue and cream. Apparently he's been seen here as well. I don't know if that's true or not, but wherever there's an ancient building, there's always a ghost story or two floating around. Some are made up and others perhaps have some truth to it and it could well be haunted by a former warrener who may have come uh, into contact with a poacher in the past and, uh, and perhaps been killed or died here. It's quite possible, but I don't believe the rabbit story for a moment. I really don't. But there we go. This is the outside of, um, of Warren Lodge, just outside Thetford. And it's quite, uh, quite delightful visiting here on a warm, sunny day. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time for another history special somewhere else.